Welcome back. Today, we are going to crack the biggest question almost everyone has in their mind, which is why time only flows forward. Was it always this way? Or is there a hidden secret behind the arrow of time? Is time an illusion or a fundamental reality? Join us as we delve into The Direction of Time by Hans Reichenbach to explore this mind-bending scientific mystery. Hans Reichenbach was not an ordinary author. He was a prominent figure in the fields of philosophy of science and logical empiricism. So let's start. We will discuss this phenomena in the form of chapters for easy understanding and tracking. Chapter one is understanding the concept of time. Let's start by laying the groundwork for our exploration of time. Reichenbach introduces us to the concept of time as both a subjective experience and an objective reality. Subjectively, time is something we perceive as passing, while objectively, it manifests as a measurable dimension that shapes the unfolding of events. For example, think of time as a river flowing steadily forward. Just as a river's current carries us along its course, time propels us through the succession of moments, shaping our experiences and interactions with the world around us. Chapter two is time in classical physics. In the realm of classical physics, time was often regarded as an absolute and unchanging parameter, independent of the observer's frame of reference. Reichenbach explores how classical mechanics, as formulated by Newton, adhered to this notion of time's universality. For example, consider a simple pendulum swinging back and forth with regularity. In classical physics, the motion of the pendulum can be precisely described using deterministic equations, highlighting the perceived symmetry between past and future. Chapter three is unveiling the arrow of time. However, as Reichenbach reveals, the arrow of time introduces an inherent asymmetry between past and future. This concept challenges the classical notion of time's reversibility and is manifested in phenomena such as the increase of entropy, the measure of disorder, in closed systems. For example, imagine watching a video of a glass shattering into pieces. While it's easy to rewind the video and watch the glass reassemble itself, such an occurrence is highly improbable in the real world. This irreversibility underscores the asymmetry between past and future, as highlighted by the arrow of time. Chapter four is relativity theory and the warping of time. Einstein's theory of relativity revolutionized our understanding of time by revealing its intimate connection with space. Reichenbach guides us through the implications of relativity theory on our perception of time, challenging the notion of absolute simultaneity and introducing the concept of time dilation. For example, Picture a spacecraft hurtling through space at near light speed. According to relativity theory, time for the astronauts aboard the spacecraft appears to pass more slowly compared to observers on Earth. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, illustrates the relativity of time and its dependence on the observer's frame of reference. Chapter five is quantum mechanics, the time of the microscopic world. Venturing into the mysterious realm of quantum mechanics, Reichenbach explores how this microscopic world introduces further complexities to our understanding of time. Quantum indeterminacy challenges the deterministic worldview of classical physics, while phenomena like quantum entanglement blur the boundaries of causality. For example, imagine observing a particle existing in a state of superposition, where it simultaneously occupies multiple states at once. Only upon measurement, does the particle collapse into a single state, introducing a probabilistic element to its evolution through time. This quantum uncertainty highlights the intricate relationship between time and the quantum realm. Chapter six is revisiting the directionality of time. In the final chapter, Reichenbach synthesizes the insights gleaned from classical physics, relativity theory, and quantum mechanics to revisit the question of time's directionality. He proposes a probabilistic approach grounded in entropy increase as a guiding principle for understanding the arrow of time. For example, Reichenbach introduces the concept of the arrow of radiation, wherein the emission of radiation represents a directional flow of energy through time. This example underscores how entropy increase drives the arrow of time forward, leading to the emergence of order from chaos. These were the key findings from the book, The Direction of Time. Now let's have a look on the important reviews of top scientists of this field about this book. Is this book explaining truth or truth is somewhere else? Let's find it from the words of top scientists. Review no one, Dr. Stephen Hawking, theoretical physicist, says that 
I found The Direction of Time by Hans Reichenbach to be a fascinating exploration of one of the most profound mysteries of the universe. Reichenbach's meticulous analysis and clear explanations shed light on the complex nature of time, from classical physics to quantum mechanics. His insights into the arrow of time and the role of entropy increase offer valuable perspectives for both physicists and philosophers. As someone deeply interested in the fundamental properties of the cosmos, I highly recommend this book to anyone seeking a deeper understanding of time's enigmatic nature. Review No. 2 Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, astrophysicist, says that I had the pleasure of reading The Direction of Time by Hans Reichenbach during my graduate studies, and it left a lasting impression on me. Reichenbach's meticulous analysis of time's arrow and its underlying principles challenged my thinking and deepened my appreciation for the complexities of the universe. His ability to bridge the gap between physics and philosophy makes this book a must-read for anyone interested in the nature of time. The direction of time continues to inspire my own research and exploration of the cosmos, reminding me of the profound mysteries that await us in the realm of time. Review No. 3, Dr. Lisa Randall, theoretical physicist and cosmologist, says that The Direction of Time by Hans Reichenbach is a masterful work that delves into the intricacies of time with clarity and depth. Reichenbach's interdisciplinary approach drawing from classical physics, relativity theory, and quantum mechanics, offers a comprehensive perspective on time's arrow and its implications for our understanding of the universe. As a scientist working at the forefront of theoretical physics, I found Reichenbach's insights thought-provoking and illuminating. This book is essential reading for anyone interested in the nature of time and its role in shaping the cosmos. By receiving these kind of positive reviews by top scientists of this file, we can say that this book is the true piece of understanding the direction of time. But the truth is, that book doesn't offer a single, definite answer to this puzzling question. It does something important. It shows us different ways of thinking about time's forward flow. It's like offering multiple puzzle pieces, each providing a glimpse of the bigger picture. Ultimately, the book encourages us to keep exploring this mystery and to appreciate the complexity and fascinating nature of time itself. It leaves us with more questions than answers, but that's part of the fun. Now tell us, what are your views on time and this book, or are you a science lover? If yes, then suggest us which thing you want to discover next. We will surely do this for you as our data is always scientific and from the words of expert. And if you like the video, then please subscribe our channel because this motivates us. Thank you.